Hey, good morning. It's Pastor Mark. Thank you so much for joining me in God's Word this day. Uh, this is Tuesday, April 28th, and we are going to be talking about why are we so busy? Uh, we begin the daily office with a time of stillness and silence before our Lord, and I invite you to do this. Just pause for a minute uh, right now. You know, our internal and external worlds are just filled with noise and distractions. And uh, these short moments of silence are really the foundation of uh, a, a wonderfully enriching devotional life, uh, time with God. Uh, I would uh, encourage you to, to begin trying it out, as awkward as it may feel at the beginning, uh, because uh, over the long term, uh, it's it's a great blessing and again it's an ancient church practice uh, generations of the faithful before us have found this to be an, an amazingly helpful tool the scripture reading for this morning's devotion is John chapter 7 verse 2 to 8 but when the Jewish festival of tabernacles was near Jesus' brothers said to him leave Galilee and go to Judea so that your disciples may see the works you do. No one who wants to become a public figure acts in secret. Since you are doing these things, show yourself to the world. For even his own brothers did not believe in him. Therefore Jesus told them, My time is not yet here. For you any time will do. The world cannot hate you, but it hates me, because I testify that its works are evil. You go to the festival. I am not going up to the festival, because my time has not yet fully come. Jesus moves slowly, not striving, not rushing. He, he, think of it, he, he patiently waited through his adolescent years through his young adult years to reveal himself as the Messiah and even then he didn't rush to be recognized he waited so patiently for his father's timing during his short ministry you would think the shorter the time we had like he just had a three-year ministry so brief uh, the more rushed and, and urgent we would press on uh, but Jesus so patiently waited for his father's timing. So why is it then that, that we hate slow? It just, it's, it just irritates us when things move slow. Why do we hate it when uh, God appears to delight in it? Well, Eugene Peterson, I uh, mentioned him a couple weeks ago, uh, he offers us at least two reasons <clears throat> why we hate slow. First, he says, I am busy because I am vain. <laughs> I want to appear important, significant. What better way than to be busy? The incredible hours, the crowded schedule, and the heavy demands of my time are proof to myself and to all who notice that I am important. If I go in a doctor's office and find there's no one waiting, and I see through a half-open door the doctor reading a book, I wonder if he's any good. Such experiences affect me. I live in a society in which crowded schedules and harassed conditions are evidence of importance, so I develop crowded schedules and harassed conditions. And when others notice, they acknowledge my significance and my vanity is fed. Reason number two. He says, I am busy because I am lazy. This is great. I indolently let others decide what I will do instead of resolutely deciding myself. It was a favorite theme of C.S. Lewis that only lazy people work hard by lazily abdicating the essential work of deciding and directing, establishing values, 
setting goals. Other people do it for us. Um, reminds me of a, a business book I read many years ago. I basically uh, summed it up with this, this question about time management. Do you manage your calendar or does your calendar manage you? It actually is uh, much more difficult to manage our calendars and to not say yes to every single thing uh, that comes along because we feel like uh, maybe for van vanity reasons that we'd never admit in public uh, yes, this group needs me. This person needs me. Yes, I'm the one that can do th I'll do the best job with this. Or uh, the vanity reasons of just being busy, appearing so busy and important. Oh, I've got this to do and that to do. And I'm going to... Um, you know, it's actually a lot harder to say no. And it's a lot harder to manage our calendars, to set our own priorities with, with God, uh, to follow Jesus. And what does that look like? Uh, for my own personal discipleship and growth in faith, uh, for my family or the people uh, close to me and my witness in discipling them. And then it goes out, you know, your job responsibilities, vocations that God's given you. And, you know, for me being a pastor, some of it overlaps a little bit uh, here and there. But, but that's, the, uh, that's the thought. Uh, for today, uh, you know, why are why are we so busy? And I, well, I guess the one question I would pose to you today for you to think about is: What is one step that you can take to slow down and live more attentively to the voice of Jesus? Let's pray. <laughs> Lord, grant us the grace to do one thing at a time today without rushing or hurrying. Help us to savor the sacred in all that we do, be it large or small. And by the Holy Spirit within us, empower us to pause today as we, as we move from one activity to the next, just to take a break, take a breath, say a quick prayer. Help us in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, I'm going to, again, uh, recommend you take one more minute of stillness with God as I'm about to do and we'll go on and we'll have a wonderful Tuesday serving our Lord. God bless you.